This short presentation introduces you to the content of the VLC class, Early Modern English Language and Culture. In particular, we will look at the content of the class and its syllabus, provide an overview of the e-educational strategies that are applied, and will finally list the requirements students have to fulfill to get the class credits. Our class, Early Modern English Language and Culture, covers the history of the English language from its remote Indo-European origins and even before to the present day. It provides substantial information about the English language at different periods and introduces the main theoretical and technical concepts of historical linguistics, taking into account recent work in historical and general linguistics. The insights into the early modern English period will cover characteristics on the phonological, morphological, syntactical and lexical level. Special emphasis will also be put on practical aspects such as reading and analysis of texts taken from the early modern English period. In traditional teaching, content delivery and content acquisition are realized in class where several dozens of students have to gather at the same time to be entertained by their teacher. In a second phase, students practice on their own, on the basis of additional exercise material, homework, tasks, and so on and so forth. We will flip or invert these two activities and apply the inverted classroom model. Content acquisition is now self-guided, takes place first, and is done online. The additional in-class phase is dedicated to practicing, rehearsing, discussion, or analysis. This means Prior to each in-class meeting, students must have worked through the online content of the respective unit. Classical teaching is now just one method among many. For example, if the online content needs reworking or if additional information has to be provided. Now, the central teaching method is that of a cooperative interaction between instructor and students. Finally, you want to know what you have to do in order to get the six class credits, which are awarded for about 180 hours workload. Well, first of all, active participation is required, of course. Yes, also, you have to submit two ungraded worksheets and three graded worksheets. You also have to participate and succeed in the e-exam and submit another additional analysis project. Now, See you soon or in class.